Welcome to Center for Online Education, Uttar Pradesh Shashan Open University. In the series of research methodology, today we are going to explore another important topic on references and bibliography. References and bibliography is the backbone of all the research work. Why? Because from where you have cited the work and from where you have taken the help is all being presented in the form of references and bibliography. So let's explore that what is references and what is bibliography. References. A references, a reference list is the detailed list of reference that are cited in your work. Means the help of the work you have taken and you have cited the same work in your research work is being given in the reference list. While in bibliography, a bibliography is a detailed list of references cited in your work plus the background reading or other material that you may have read but not actually cited. Means bibliography is more broader area where you have read the work, you have gone through the backgrounds, you have gone through the materials, you have studied the materials but you haven't have quoted or cited in your work but that material has helped you in your research. So all these things you have to cite it in the bibliography. So there are different styles by which you can cite your work. There are basically nine most acceptable styles which is being used in the different form of our country. But there are four most used styles which we are going to discuss over here. The first one is the MLA, Modern Language Association System. The second one is the APA, American Psychological Association System. The third one is the Harvard System. And the fourth one is the MHRA, Modern Humanities Research Association System. So in this video, we are going to see that what are these four systems and how you are going to apply this in your research work by the demonstration of how you are going to make the references and pasting it in your work. So let's explore the first one, Modern Language Association, the MLA. It is a parenthetical system that is bracket references in the body of your essay are linked to full length citation in the bibliography at the end of the work. Means this system, modern language association, when you are going to apply the MLA system in your referencing, means you are going to adopt the referencing style as MLA, you have to take the username and the page number. So these two things combinedly makes the MLA and you have to put it in the bracket. So the bracket in the body of the essay contains only the author's surname and the page number or numbers you are referring to. For example, there are a number of different referencing styles or citation but MLA that are used most widely is this one. For example, if you have taken a work of Dr. Gaurav Sankar, which is being done in the year 2013, and the work has got 120 pages. So, whenever you are going to apply the ML system, Modern Language Association system, you are going to take the first name of the author, that is the surname of your author, that is Sankal, and the page number which you have taken. This is the style which you can use whenever you are going to use the MLA system. Now explore the second one, that is American Psychological Association system. The APA system is also a parenthetical system, but the bracket references in the body of your essay are the author's surname, the date of publication, and the page or page number you are referring to. So here also the same. In MLA, you have taken the surname of an author and the page number. But when you are adopting the style of APA, that is American Psychological Association System, you have to take the surname of the author, then you are going to use the publication year and then you are going to use the 
page means here publication year or the date of publication is also being taken so whenever you are going to take the example you are going to see that here sankal 2023 page number 120 the reference of this is being taken in your work the references always goes at the end of the sentence before the full stop means where you are going to put this so whenever you are going to complete your paragraph so before the full stop you have to give the name of you have to write the surname of the author from where you are taking the work the year in which the work is being done or the date in which the work is being done and the page number in which you have taken it right so the third one the harvard system highly acceptable and widely used system referencing the style is harvard system the harvard system is another parenthetical system and the bracket references in the body of your essay the author's name and the date of publication are being used over here so in the harvard system the work listed in a in the alphabetical order means here you have to use the alphabetically order a b c d e f g h the first one by the author's surname and follow the same format as the apa system in the apa system you have seen that you have to take the name the surname of the author then the year the date in which the work is being completed and the page number but here you have to put it in an orderly alphabetically manner so this is the harvard system if you see over here is this that author surname initial username year title or text website name if you are taking it from website day month from when you have taken when you have visited this website you have to put it over here and the url access on which date you have to put it over here and when you are going to do this this is known as the harvard system now the fourth one modern humanity research association which is also known as mhra system the mr mhra system does not use bracket references in the body of an essay instead superscript number like this you see superscript number means it is being put it over here so a link to the sequence of the notes which appear either at the foot of the pages or in the section of the end of your essay means whenever you are using this style mhra you have to use this superscript numbering system 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this numbering system the references is being cited on the footnote means at the base of that page or at the end of your essay means whether it will be taken at the end of the chapter or at the end of your thesis so whenever you are going to put it at the end of your thesis you have to number it from 1 to continuously from 1 2 3 4 5 6 up till the last chapter but if you are taking and the references at the end of your chapter so every chapter you have to start with 1 and ending with the last reference number the note contains the full references for the book or article you are referencing to here what an mhra note referencing book likes for example if you have taken the human resource work of dr gorav sankal so you have to write it you have to put it transcript number 1 then the author's name then the book from where you have taken it then from where it is being published in the year it is being published and page number so this is the style of referencing here you are not going to put the bracket you have not saying that here there is a bracket system is right so these are the four is highly acceptable system which is used in our country in our research work apart from this we have got chicago system also which is also being used where the surname of the authors come first before the name now we have to explore the things that how you are going to get the citation in your research work now we are going to explore that how you can make your referencing from these four styles you have to take a style and accept it for your research work means 
if you are taking APA, you have to uniformly apply that referencing style from chapter 1 to the last chapter. Right? So, this is, let us explore that how you are going to take the example. So, here you can see we have got different citation generator which is being given over internet. So, we are going to take the help of cite fast which is being an APA style highly recommended in different central and state universities. So, by clicking over here you can see that this is the page you get. Right? So here references, whatever references you are going to put over here is going to be put it and saved for your work. So let us take an example, if you see this is a paper of Dr. Gaurav Sankal which is published in ICFAI. So if you are taking the reference of this in a research work, how you are going to do this? So first thing you are going to take is that you have to select this URL, right? So you have selected this URL. If you are taking the help of this paper of Dr. Gaurav Sankal published in ICFAI Organization Politics, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. So the first thing you are going to take is this that you have to select the URL. Select it, copy it and you have this citation generator in which you have to enter the URL. So paste the URL over here and you have to enter it. As soon as you enter this, everything of this URL is being seen over here. Means the document title, the website and everything. Now here, if you see over here, it is save citation. So you have to save this citation. And you see in the references, your first citation is created over here, that is MBA Review Magazine organizational politics, the good, the bad and the ugly, IUP publication, journal, magazine, publication ethics, books and articles and this is the URL. So this is the way by which you can create your citation by the help of internet. Now you can see over here you have got all the referencing style that is if you are going to take APA 7, you are going to take the help of APA 7. If you want this style in APA 6, you can click over here, you will get it in the system of APA 6. If you are going to get it in MLA, I have told you about MLA, if you are going to get the citation in MLA, you will put over here and your citation will be in MLA 8 point. If you are going to want your citation in Chicago style, you have to put it in the Chicago style and the referencing will be in the Chicago style. So, from where your work is you are taking the help of the work, you have to put it over here and if you are taking the book, you have to put the book title, author name and ISBN number and the citation will be given over here. If you are taking the help of any journal, you can put the name of the article journal over here and the citation will be created. And newspaper, online video, dissertation thesis, blog, audio, interviews, film, report, web magazine, magazines, encyclopedia, government publication, television, lectures, speech, conferences. So, you can create your citation of all these things by the help of this URL. So, this is very important that how you are going to create your references. So, if you are going to take the help of any book, any referencing of a book, so you are going to put the name of the book, author name. You can also done this into manually that So, this is the book, it has been given over here, these types of books are being here, if you are taking it, so it will be, automatically it will take that this is the name of the book, publishing, in which publication house, which is the edition, everything is in here. If you want to save this, you click over here and your citation will be put it over here. So, now from this, you have to take this in your word, in your research word. So, here the option has been given, copy and paste. You can copy it from here and paste in your word or export to word where you can just click over here and the work is going to be sent in the word format. And the third one is that you are being logged into some account and your account will save this all citation over here. 
Then the third one is whether you are going to use this in the footnote or in note, you can take it from all. So this is the best way how you are going to make your citation. So if you want to give your citation in APA 7 form, you are going to click over here and your APA 7 form is being ready. You put the URL over here, if you are going to take the web page, you put your URL over here and your reference will be shown over here. Save your, save your citation, it will be saved again, right? So these are different styles, these are the four styles in which this site test is being used and if you are going to use web page, books, journals and others I have shown you over here. So for each and everything this citation is used. So here you can see that by the help of this you can cite your work from where you are going to take the work, take the URL, paste over here and just click the enter and your citation will be here. Cup Cut copy paste is being option is given over here, export option is being given over here. So you see, this is the bibliography in word form it will be shown. So this is the way your bibliography will be ready at the end of your work and you can take the help, right? So this is the way by which you can create your citation and bibliography. I hope you have understood and this will be very useful for your referencing style. Thank you.